Welcome back, Clash Crew, to another MLB The Show 21 video. Today, we are adding a player to the Texas Rangers until they win the World Series. This was voted on by you guys, and I have a sneaky suspicion that you guys wanted the Rangers because of their newest additions like Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager, John Gray, and now we're going to find out who we add to this team to make them even more powerful after all these signings. With help from the wheel of MLB teams. Let's spin it. Are we getting a team from the East, the West, the Central? We are getting the Orioles. Oh, man. The Orioles? And now we spin the wheel of positions. The player from the Orioles plays... Is it going to be right field? Right field. I actually think this might be pretty good. The current right fielder for the Rangers is Cole Calhoun. The right fielder for the Orioles is Anthony Santander. Okay, he's got good potential for the future. Let's trade this guy, Eli Hernandez. I'm gonna sim all the way to the all-star break and see how this Rangers team is doing. Yikes, we're currently 36 and 54. That's good enough for last place in the AL West. Oh, wow, we're gonna need a lot more players to turn this team around. Well, the first year was not so good. I didn't think it would be. The Rangers have a lot of work to do and Anthony Santander was not gonna be the answer by him Himself. We went 73 and 89 last place in the AL West next year. Let's spin the wheel again We need a superstar. So give me a team that has a good handful We got yes the Dodgers. They have tons. Oh my god. We're spinning the wheel of positions right now Please this could help us so much. It's gonna be Left fielder, okay, who is that AJ Pollock? The Rangers left fielder is DJ Peters, who I believe is a former Dodgers prospect, but the Dodgers left fielder is AJ Pollock. It couldn't have been Chris Taylor or Mookie Betts. All right, AJ Pollock, that's still an upgrade. That's crazy. AJ Pollock has already landed himself on the injured list. He broke his leg and he'll be back in seven days. But are you kidding me? I even turned down the injury slider all the way. Whatever, I'll be waiting for his return. We're gonna stop simming at the all-star break. We sit at the bottom of the division again at the end of the year, last place, negative by 20 games. We need so much improvement. AJ Pollock on the year. He had 22 home runs, 61 RBIs, and a 251 batting average. Anthony Santander, he did not do much. He had three home runs, 13 RBIs, and a 198 batting average. I should also tell you guys the stats of Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager since they're two huge free agents that just got to this team. 29 home runs, 80 RBIs, 250 batting average for Marcus Simeon, and Corey Seager, 32 home runs, 88 RBIs, and a 293 average. The Braves win the World Series in this season. You know what that means? It's time to spin the wheel again, add another player to the team, hopefully a generational talent. That is what we're looking for, and we could get it from the Blue Jays. We all know what position we want. Come on, please be first base. Please be first. Please be first. It's gonna be... Third? Third baseman for the Blue Jays. That would be Kevin Biggio, which is an upgrade for the team. Okay. At the All-Star break, the team is actually positive. 47 and 44. Still got the Astros and Mariners ahead of us. We did it for the first time. We made playoffs. Rangers got the first place, 87 and 75. We are taking on the Guardians in the first round. It is John Gray facing Shane Bieber. Who wins game one? Oh, we're not all the way over there yet. Got to get through all these notifications. Slowly getting there. We do. We win 5-2. to two. We win game two, baby! Clean sweep. Do we have it? Yes, we do. Beautiful. Now we got to take on the super-powered Yankees. We win the first one. We win the second one. This Rangers team, what is going on? We finally take an L in the playoffs by one run. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. We don't need to take another one. Okay, we're up in the series. If we win, we go to the World Series. But we're going to have to beat Garrett Cole. Oh, man. We already did it once. We can do it again. Here we go. Let's fast forward to the sixth inning. See if we have a lead. Solo home run. Pozo! I don't even know who that is. Why Pozo? 
He's on the Rangers and he's playing catcher for us. Sack fly got another run in. We got a two to two to one lead. Oh man, now we're tied up. And now the no. Now the Yankees are living up to the name of Bronx Bombers. Oh my god. Let's just send the end of game. We are down by five. This is not looking good, folks. The Yankees live another day. It's gonna be game seven. Let's just send in the fourth inning in this one. See if we get any big scoring early in the game. Oh, oh, we got three runs out of that, baby. Pollock was a big factor in that inning, and the Yankees got one back. Okay, three to one through three innings. Oh, bases loaded, and we didn't get anything out of it. No. Oh, bases loaded again. Enough fielder's choice. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Yankees just took the lead late in the game. It's only a one-run lead, though. Oh, Marcus Simeon. He just gave us the lead back. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, let's chill, chill out. Okay, okay, my goodness, it is top eight right now. Let's take it at bat by at bat. Santander grounds out. Biggio flies out. Pollock grounds out. We only have a one run lead. Joey Gallo strikes out. Gio Urshela also strikes out. De La Cruz, pitching change. Well, oh, he gets on with an error. DJ LeMayhew hits a single. It's first and third. Stanton strikes out. Oh, my God. We could use some insurance here. Got a strikeout. Corey Seager pops up. Simeon also pops up. But last three outs, if we get them, we go to the World Series. Aaron Judge. Oh, pitching change. Jose LeClerc coming in to close it out with a nine ERA. Ground out to Aaron Judge. Luke Voigt grounds out as well. We're going live to see this happen. It would be Gary Sanchez. The pitch is a ball inside. And the next pitch is also a ball inside. Come on, Blue, you're squeezing us. Come on, get it over the plate. That, oh, oh, he called it a strike. Thought he called it a high ball, but he called it a strike. Rangers are one out away. Oh, that's strike two. Now it is one strike away. Gary Sanchez, two outs, two, two count. The pitch. Oh, full count. Jose, breathe. The pitch. Strikes out Gary Sanchez. We are going to the World Series. Let's go. Congratulations to the American League champion, Texas Rangers. All right. You love to see it. There's AJ Pollock getting a hug. I see Corey Seager over there as well well can I, oh there's santander to the right all right let's go dude not only did we make it to the world series we are playing the cardinals this matchup was one of the most historic world series 2010 that world series was epic it'd be so much more epic if we can get it done our first appearance in this episode let's see what happens in game one we lost by one run we win game two okay tied it up and now we're at home if we sweep we win we win game three. We are up two to one. Game four. We win. Okay, we win this game. We win the World Series. All of our added players are in the lineup. AJ Pollock is DHing. We have Anthony Santander in right field and Kevin Biggio at third base. Here we go. Let's see what happens. We're going to fast forward to the fifth, okay? No scoring yet. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx us. Hopefully. Okay, still scoreless. Can we get on the board? No, not yet double for Paul DeYoung, but nothing came of it. Scoreless through four innings. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. They almost got on the board there. Oh, we just got on the board with a double from Anthony Santander. There's another one from Corey Seager. All right. Oh, they respond immediately. They got to run on their own. Okay, we go one, two, three. They go one, two, three, single, and then the third out. Solo home run, Paul DeYoung. We only have a one run lead in the eighth inning. Marcus Simeon got a single. Nate Lowe struck out. Willie Calhoun flew out. Pozo, Yohel Pozo hit a single. Santander, one of the players we traded for, batting 377 in the World Quack. Series, grounds out. I hepped him up so much. Oh, this is top nine. Dylan Carlson flies out. Paul Goldschmidt grounds out. We're going live. Jose LeClerc on the mound. All he has to do is get this last out. One run lead. The pressure is on. The pitch is a swinging strike. All one count here to the Cardinals batter. Jose LeClerc's pitch is way outside. And the pressure has built up to the batter so much that he swung at that ridiculous pitch. One strike away and Texas will feel bigger than ever. And he gets him looking. The Texas Rangers are the World Series champions. Oh, oh, somebody ate it coming out of the dugout right there. But wow, 
that did not take as long as I thought it would. Okay, and honestly, the pieces we added were just like supporting characters. You already had the superstars with Simeon and Seeger, and then we just added a couple solid bats with Santander, AJ Pollock, and Kevin Biggio, and that was enough apparently. Thank you to all of you for watching this episode of adding a player to the blank, which was the Rangers in this case, until they win the World Series. If you want to take part in the voting for the next one, keep an eye out here on YouTube. I put out polls asking you guys which team you want to see next. Let's make it more of a challenge. I thought this one was going to be a little bit tougher, but we were able to do it in a fairly decent amount of time. Don't think I forgot, in this season, Kevin Biggio had 11 home runs, 33 RBIs, and he batted 221. Anthony Santander had 13 home runs, 51 RBIs, and batted 257, best year with the team. AJ Pollock hit 24 home runs, 71 RBIs, and batted 253, also his best year with the team. Corey Seager, 27 home runs, 78 RBIs, and batted 307. And Marcus Simeon, 31 home runs, 103 RBIs, and batted 302, he went off. Like the video, subscribe, tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandma, your pets, your friends, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, everybody, you know, to subscribe if they haven't already. And if you made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment. All it took was a few supporting characters. I got this, you got this, we all got this, and I will see you next time.